Planning to visit the Great Wall of China? Well, you're in for an awe-inspiring adventure. This iconic landmark, with its rich history dating back over two millennia, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Stretching over 13,000 miles, the Great Wall is not just a wall, but a symbol of China's resilience and cultural heritage. But before you start your journey, there are a few things you'll need to know. Let's dive into the top 15 tips you need to know before embarking on this majestic journey. Tip number one, the best time to visit. The Great Wall shines brightest during the spring and autumn seasons. Spring offers vibrant greenery and pleasant temperatures, while autumn showcases a stunning palette of reds and oranges. However, keep in mind that these seasons also attract larger crowds. Winter, on the other hand, offers a majestic snow-capped spectacle, but it's bitterly cold. Summer provides clearer skies, but it can be quite hot and crowded. So timing your visit right can make a world of difference to your experience. Moving on to tip number two, choose the right section. The Great Wall of China is a vast, winding marvel, each section with its own story to tell. Perhaps you fancy the grandeur of Badaling, the most visited section, or the less crowded Mutianyu, with its lush surroundings. Maybe you're an adventurer willing to trek the wild, unrestored Jiangku or the serenely beautiful Jinshanling. These are but a few of the many amazing sections you can explore. Remember, each section has its own unique charm, so choose wisely. Tips three to five, let's talk preparation. The Great Wall of China is an awe-inspiring sight, but remember, it's also an ancient structure that stretches over diverse terrains. So comfortable shoes are not just a suggestion, they're a necessity. We're talking about shoes that can tackle slippery slopes, jagged rocks, and countless steps. Now let's move on to your backpack. Keep it light, folks. Carry only what you need. The wall is steep and long, and every extra pound will feel like a boulder by the end of the day. Finally, don't forget to pack enough water and snacks. Remember, you're going on a mini-adventure here. The last thing you want is to feel dehydrated or famished halfway through. So take along a bottle of water and some energy-boosting snacks. Trust us, a little preparation goes a long way. Tip six and seven, respect the wall and avoid scams. Now, when it comes to respecting the wall, it's not just about admiring its grandeur from afar, it's about taking responsibility for your actions while you're there. Remember, the Great Wall of China is a world heritage site and it's our duty to preserve its integrity. Avoid writing or carving on the wall and refrain from littering. Let's keep this ancient marvel clean and intact for future generations to appreciate. Moving on to our seventh tip, avoiding scams. Sadly, many tourists fall prey to tricks and traps. Be wary of vendors selling authentic souvenirs at inflated prices or offering guided tours that are not officially sanctioned. Always verify the credibility of your sources before making any purchases or bookings. Keep these tips in mind to ensure a smooth and respectful visit. Tips 8 to 10, let's talk about photography, souvenirs and local cuisine. When it comes to capturing the majesty of the Great Wall, there's no shortage of awe-inspiring vantage points. However, the Jin Shanling and Simatai sections are often lauded for their photogenic landscapes, so ready your lenses and seize the moment. Venturing into souvenirs, avoid the overpriced trinkets at the touristy stalls. Instead, seek out local markets in Beijing for authentic, reasonably priced keepsakes. You'll find intricate jade carvings, silk products, and unique tea sets that truly reflect the rich Chinese culture. Now, let's whet your appetite with some local cuisine. Don't miss out on the Beijing Roast Duck, a culinary masterpiece that's been perfected over centuries. The Jiaozi, traditional Chinese dumplings, and the hearty Luju Huoshao, a local bread and mutton stew, are must-tries too. Remember, these experiences can truly enrich your visit. Tips 11 to 13, health and safety. We're stepping into the realm of well-being now. Venturing along the Great Wall is indeed a thrilling experience, yet it's essential to be aware of your physical limitations. The wall's steep inclines and declines can be taxing even for the fittest among us. So pace yourself and rest when needed. Tip 12, never forget to carry necessary medications. From simple painkillers for those unexpected headaches to personal prescriptions, it's always better to be prepared. This goes hand in hand with ensuring you have ample water and snacks to keep your energy levels up. Finally, tip 13, take care of your personal belongings. 
While the Great Wall is generally a safe place, it's a good practice to keep an eye on your possessions. Keep them close and avoid leaving them unattended. Remember, it's not just about the journey, but also about returning home safe and sound. Safety first, as they say. Finally, tips 14 and 15. Hiring a guide and exploring surrounding areas. If you're looking for an in-depth understanding of the Great Wall's history, hiring a guide can be a real game-changer. Guides can provide you with fascinating insights and anecdotes that you might miss out on otherwise. Plus, they can help you navigate the less-traveled paths and enhance your overall experience. Now, let's talk exploration. The areas surrounding the Great Wall are a treasure trove of cultural and natural beauty. You might want to consider visiting the ancient village of Gubeku, renowned for its traditional architecture and serene atmosphere. Or perhaps the stunning Yanking Badaling National Forest Park, a paradise for nature lovers. Each of these locations offer a unique experience and are great additions to your Great Wall adventure. With these tips, you're all set to make the most of your visit to the Great Wall of China. Well, that's a wrap on our top 15 tips for visiting the Great Wall of China. From choosing the ideal time to visit, to respecting the wall's rich history, preparing adequately, and even indulging in local cuisine, we've got you covered. Remember to stay safe, avoid scams, and consider hiring a guide for the best experience. And don't forget the adventure doesn't end at the wall. Explore the surrounding areas too. Remember, every journey to the Great Wall is unique, so embrace the adventure and make it your own. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe by pressing button below.